Good evening, everybody. It's been a long time. Uh, I'm in Illinois right now. I have been for a couple days. But everybody's given me a lot of questions, a lot of texts, a lot of other stuff about what's been going on with Lacey. So I figured I'll take a quick break tonight. I'm only like a mile from the hospital and uh, the treatment center and give you guys a little bit of what's going on. Um, uh, we came down here, it was the 4th of July we came down here, um, over here, whatever you want to say. And I have, we've been here like almost the whole time. What happened was, is we got down here, I made the last video, she was going in to get some scans done. And we got those done, and it showed some fluid around her heart, so we left the treatment centers uh, that night uh, about midnight and they took us by ambulance to a hospital where we thought we were going to have surgery uh, in the morning on Saturday only to find out that they weren't going to do it till Monday so we stayed at that hospital till Monday and uh, they had the surgery uh, Monday morning we thought we literally thought we were gonna be there like two days and it ended up being seven days that's where stuff got really chaotic uh, I didn't take a shower for a week I didn't change my clothes for a week I didn't have we didn't have any clean clothes we thought we were only gonna be here for four days so we only had clothes for four days and the four days was Friday and then Friday they took us by ambulance to the hospital I didn't have my car. I had to go back and get my car. Um, we, I didn't have any clean clothes, so finally, the Wednesday before we left, I just drove and went and bought new clothes because I didn't have time to even wash them. And I didn't, and it's kind of a weird situation because you don't want to leave Lacey. They're trying to give her the pills that she don't even take. And so you just kind of had to be on your toes at all the time. So it's, I couldn't leave. There was no ch chance of me leaving. I wasn't going to leave her there. Um, it was just, it was a bad seven days. That's all it was. The doctors were incredible. The nurses, there was a couple of good ones, but there was a bunch of bad ones. It was a fight. So we got out of there. We came back to the treatment center. Um, and by this time, they couldn't do a whole lot because she had a drain put in for her heart so she got the drain taken out um, finally and on Friday uh, she went in and had uh, chemo on Friday night at about 7 8 o'clock and we got done with that about no it was before that about 3 o'clock and we got done about 10 or something 10 30 and so about midnight she had a little bit of reaction she got her red faced and her neck was kind of puffed out so I wanted to go home but we stayed here till Saturday and then it kind of went away and she was fine so we drove home Saturday um, everything seemed to be fine I felt good to be home after two and a half weeks thinking you're gonna be gone for four and then uh, Sunday was fine and Monday <clears throat> I went back to work um, for half a day it, uh, she called me about lunch and said that her mom did and her face was really red and swollen and her neck was swollen so we called uh, the treatment center first and they said go to the ER so we ran to the ER I ran to the ER went home from work uh, Monday and then uh, that this was bad. I should have drove her here. Uh, we got down there, and that was the place that originally diagnosed her. And uh, we didn't want to be there, but they come up with all kinds of different stuff that was wrong with her, and it was just an absolute mess, giving her stuff she doesn't need. So Monday rolled around, and or Tuesday rolled around. I'm still at the hospital. Um, they don't know what's wrong with her and they're coming up with all kinds of crazy stuff what's wrong with her and I'm trying to get her out of there 
So in the meantime, I'm calling uh, the treatment center down here to see what we can do or see what's wrong. Um, by this time, they had her on, I mean, blood thinners, uh, all kinds of antibiotics for something they thought was wrong. They didn't, it wasn't even nothing that was wrong with her. Um, but now they had put her on blood thinners and they couldn't take her off, supposedly, which I argued with them about. So what boiled down to was um, Tuesday night they said they wouldn't they obviously couldn't let her leave because she had to be on this blood thinner so they scheduled it for Mon or Wednesday morning uh, yesterday morning at 4 a.m. to leave Midland and come all the way here which she had to be done by ambulance um, Again, that was the we took an ambulance ride from here to the hospital to have her uh, drain put in, and that was horrible on her back. Her back killed her sitting in that ambulance, which was a 1995 Econo line. Hey, get over here. The wind's blowing me. Um. So she rode down by ambulance. And She rode down by ambulance um, at four o'clock in the morning. Here, it was like a six, a little over a six hour trip, six and a half hours probably, and I followed her. So we got down here yesterday morning, um, and they started looking at her. By this time, her face is still red and she can't hardly walk without everything from here up swelling up real bad, and it hurts. Um, so, they're going to start radiation probably next week sometime because she has something, something somewhere is pressing on uh, something in just normal people terms, all their terms, SVC syndrome or whatever. Um, so, that's causing the blood flow to get restricted and so the problem was Midland didn't send us any of the stuff that they did and this place couldn't do anything until they got that stuff So now we're waiting two more days to get that stuff um, That's how my month of July has gone so It's been absolutely chaotic um, So once they get the scans tomorrow, they could possibly start radiation on Monday and hopefully figure out what exactly is causing um, the swelling of the face and the neck um, and that's where we're at right now this everything's kind of up in the air until they figure that out and that's the hard part about I get a lot of every few hours somebody's texting me or something messaging me about how she doing and it's just it's day to day everything changes from one day to the next I mean it's hard to keep on top of it. If I made a video every day, it'd be the next day of video would be totally different than the day before saying we're doing something totally different. So, um, radiation, if that starts Monday or Tuesday, they got to do a bunch of testing and stuff and figure out what's going on. Um, that's a minimum three week everyday deal. So, that's the latest on what's going on. Um, I have no idea what we're going to do. I snuck away and got something to eat. I ain't ate it yet. She's up in the room eating. I'm going to run back and see her. Watch a movie maybe. I don't know. But we're just kind of waiting. And hopefully um, some of this stuff will start working. Kind of get her cleaned out a little bit and get stuff flowing the way it should. So uh, thank you all. For leaving the comments and all the prayers and all the support I get uh, all the time somebody all the times write me something um, I got uh, I got pictures of her reading comments and stuff because she likes that she really enjoys reading your comments so thank you all for that um, I'm gonna get out of here so thanks for watching
Thanks for doing everything that everybody's done for the channel. I really appreciate it. And uh, you guys have a wonderful night. Illinois don't have the same sunsets that Michigan has. Just FYI. Living on the other side of the lake, you can see a beautiful sunset over here. Kind of boring.